DEA is originally designed to measure the relative efficiency of peer decision-making units. Here are some examples of decision-making units, DMUs. DEA laptops are called DMUs, category 1 measures are called inputs, and category 2 measures are called outputs. In this particular slow management article, DA is called a balanced benchmarking. Regression and DA are two very different approaches. In this figure, the DA best practice frontier is A, B, and C. While well, if you use a linear regression, the regression line is fitted through the data set. This is a general DEA problem or a DEA model. In the middle, you have a set of DMUs. So in our case, for example, we have 17 laptops. So the N um, here is equal to 17. Then on the left-hand side, you have the inputs or our category 1 measures. And the, on the right-hand side, you have the outputs, it's the category 2 measures. Now, if you think of um, this DEA problem as a production process, in that case, you sort of have the inputs come in from the left and the outputs coming out from the right. However, again, in general, DEA is a benchmarking tool. Uh, the inputs are not necessary. The inputs to a system and the outputs are not necessary. The outputs from a production process. Um, these are just... Uh, the namings of uh, different categories of performance measures. So you have to keep that in mind. This is an example of dual-role performance metrics. Think about a bank branch. You have employee and asset for the first stage, and they generate deposit. So the deposit is an output from the first stage. Now, in the second stage, the deposit is used to generate profit and loans. So now this deposit becomes an input to the second stage or a category one um, to the second stage. Therefore, this deposit uh, is an example of dual role performance metric. This is another example of dual role performance metrics. Now, in the middle, you have the load factor and freight size of a particular airline, for example. Uh, these two performance measures are the outputs or the outcome from the first stage, but they become the input factors or the category one measures uh, for the second stage.